hi guys welcome back to my channel since school is starting soon and it is back to school season i figured this would be a great video to put out for you guys because i went to college and i just graduated in may with my bachelor's and i feel like it's a great time to tell you guys what i think you should bring with you to college from my own experiences and before I get further into today's video, I'm just going to let you know I did not live in a dorm when I went to college. I lived with my boyfriend and his mom, the house I live in now. So I will be talking about general essentials that I think you would need for college and not specifically for dorms. And if you are looking for dorms specifically, I am so sorry, this is not the video for that. But I hope you stay and see what kind of essentials you do need just in general. When it comes to going to college and what you bring to school, everybody is completely different and everybody has their own style and taste of things that they will bring with them. And the first thing that I would recommend for you to bring with you to college is a backpack. Now I say backpacks more than any other bags out there because me personally, I think they're more durable and they come with multiple compartments. So you can put things in different places so that way your bag just feels a little lighter. the next thing i would recommend you to bring with you to college is something electronic for you to take notes on whether that be a laptop a an ipad a tablet or even your phone something electronic to take your notes because most likely your professor will not be writing on the board word for word and if you do get one of those professors you are so blessed i love those types of professors but most of the time the professor will be talking right in front of you and you just have to sit and type everything that you think is important so i definitely highly recommend something like that for you to bring but there are professors that are like this is a no electronic zone i don't i don't want them it's not gonna happen no excuses so the next thing i would recommend you to bring with you to college is at least one notebook so that way, if you do get one of those professors who doesn't want electronics, you have a notebook and you're set. And along with those notebooks, I would recommend to bring pens and pencils. Pens to take notes or if you're a pencil person. And definitely bring the pencils because you will have professors who will have Scantron exams. Now, all my college friends out there, you know what I'm talking about. The Scantrons are annoying. You cannot write in pen and you have to bring a number to pencil and you will most likely use these scantrons throughout the semester and possibly on your final as well. Now for my ladies, we get our time of the month. We can be in school and it could just randomly pop up. One thing I would recommend for us ladies to bring with us to college is a, a lady pouch. Now it sounds weird saying lady pouch, I just couldn't come up with any name of it on the spot as of right now. But just bring a pouch with feminine products, pads, tampons, even a change of underwear, you know, in case you're heavy. So at least when your time of the month pops up out of nowhere and you're in school and you're like, holy crap, you'll have your pouch with you and you'll be okay. And the last thing that I think you should have with you in college, well, you won't tech, well, you will have it with you, is PDF textbooks. Girl textbooks for college are expensive i remember paying at least uh, 200 dollars for one textbook to later then find out that my classmate had the pdf version you understand how mad i was so i went through the whole return process and she ended up emailing me the textbook pdf version and let me tell you it was a lot easier to bring a PDF version of a textbook on your laptop, phone, or iPad, or tablet than it was to bring the actual book. And that's one less thing in your backpack. So definitely, 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 if you're going into college or are in college already, find the PDF versions of your textbooks. And if you absolutely can't, then you have to use the actual textbook. But PDFs saved my life. Some schools offer online classes, and if you're in a global pandemic like we are, 
we're all doing school from home. I'm also going to introduce some essentials that you should have at home for college. And one of those essentials is going to be a desk. Now, I did not have a desk when I was in college. I just worked on my bed right there and it was honestly so hard. I didn't have my, my own little space to turn around and just tune out everything that was going on. I just had to be in the moment and it reflected really bad. My work wasn't that great, my mood wasn't that great, and I just needed a change of space. But since I didn't get the desk until after I graduated, I just went through the semester and just finished it. Luckily, I passed all my classes, which is great. And now I have the desk, which you're standing on right now. And right now I use it for my YouTube work and just to have my own little space. Once I go back to school, it'll be more for school. Definitely get yourself a desk to have your own little space if you can. And if you do have a desk, let me know in the comments below how it works for you. The next thing to use for college at home is just the quiet space. Whether that's on a balcony, in front of your house, in the bathroom. <laughs> in your room a dining room living room somewhere else in your house to have some peace and quiet you will work a lot better when it's quiet compared to when it's noisy the next thing on my list is a funny one but it's going to be coffee and i was never a coffee person until i went to college actually and specifically one night i had a psych exam the next day so i went out of my biology class i went straight to duncan and i was like hey give me the largest coffee you have and make it strong i have a psych exam tomorrow and i still did not study i don't know how i pulled that off but if you're not into coffee there are caffeinated teas and if you would like to get a caffeinated tea that can help you focus and work better, go for it. The next thing that I would recommend for college to have at home is candles. Now, me personally, I love candles. You can probably see it over there. And I love certain scents like the eucalyptus and lavender. Those two specific scents help so much with being calm and relaxed and focused. I don't know what other scents there are to help you focus, but if you know, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to find a candle in that scent. But if you don't like candles and you are more of a essential oil person, there are diffusers you can use with those two scents along with others to help you study as well. And the last thing that I would think to have at home with you for school, you're gonna laugh is to have some water because you can get so lost in working on your work you won't eat or drink anything throughout the entire day so definitely food and water is one of the best essentials to have at home for college or even if you're in school Alrighty, guys we have come to the end of the video and i just want to say thank you so so much for watching and i hope it was in any sort of way helpful to see what essentials i think you should bring to college if you physically go to your school or if you stay at home doing online school and with the semester starting very soon especially during this pandemic i just want to say the best of luck on your new semester everything is going to be great just stay positive, drink water, drink coffee, and make your college experience the best that you can make it. I'm sending all, all the hugs, positive vibes, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.